YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports, guys. And today's video is going to be on five bounce back running backs, guys, for your 2024 fantasy football drafts. Now, listen, we could be talking about dynasty or redraft. You can use this type of information for whatever you need trade value redraft value whatever so guys these five guys i believe is going to have a bounce back season so with no further ado guys let's begin make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel this is cutting edge content yes it is this is cutting edge content let's go let's get together guys fantasy football season is getting closer let's go all right so, guys, let me start off with my number one running back that I believe is going to have a bounce back season. And this guy's kind of obvious right here. This is a first round, at the end of the first round type guy. Definitely beginning of the second round type guy as far as my value. And I'm, I don't pick off value. I'm just giving you my ADP. I think that matters to give you some context with this. And it's Saquon Barkley. Yes, guys, Saquon Barkley. And the reason why I love Saquon Barkley, I believe that he's going to have 10 rushing touchdowns and he's going to catch 50 to 60 passes for the Philadelphia Eagles. Reason why is Jalen Hurts, guys, is a quarterback that's on a big deal. They can't have this guy getting being a goal line running back. He's been the goal line running back for that team the last two to three years. So now they need a running back to come in and take those cares. Now, he still get the, the, put, the tush push, right? They, they're still legal. The tush push is still legal. But I believe that Saquon Barkley is going to help Jalen Hurts be able to get the ball out quick where he ain't got to hold on and wait for A.J. Brown to get open or Devontae Smith or Goddard. Also, he's going to get some five-yard runs to help them scores that way Jalen Hurts ain't got to go and take all those hits and that 250 300 pound lineman fall on him so I love Saquon Barkley this year guys I believe this guy's a top five value last year guys I think total points he finished outside the top 12 maybe even outside the top 24 in total points because he missed about five or six games last year all right so let's move on to my number two guy this next guy is what I would call a satellite back, a PPR monster, and it's Austin Eckler. Yes, Austin Eckler. Austin Eckler. Austin Eckler. Yes, guys, Austin Eckler. The reason why I like Austin Eckler this year because he's not a first-round value. Now, I'm not saying Austin Eckler is going to be the old Austin Eckler like he was uh, a year ago or two years ago. This is going to be an Austin Eckler where he's going to come in and catch five or six passes and get about 10 carries, and he's going to be a top 24 running back, a potential top 12 guy on a weekly basis. And then you can get this guy in the fourth round. You can get this guy as a zero RB target or as your number three running back or even number two running back, depending on when you take a running back, which is all great value. For Washington, who's going to have a young quarterback like a Jaden Daniels or or, or a Drake May, right? So this guy's going to be catching a lot of passes. Brian Robinson is not a great pass catcher. Uh, they got rid of Antonio Gibson, right? Curtis Samuel is not there anymore. So I think Austin Eckler, guys, is going to be one of the top pass catching running backs as a satellite bat, and you can get him with a great ADP value. I love Austin Eckler. Austin Eckler. Austin Eckler. Guys, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is cutting edge content. And the reason why this is cutting edge content, guys, is I beat to my own drum. I don't go off no consensus or none of that. It ain't just, oh, I just want to talk about certain players. Some guys will say, I just talk about players and I'm just saucy and I just say whatever I want to say and try to sell it to you. Go check my catalog. I've hit. I've hit 70% of the time. A lot of people get offended when I say that. And I stand on it. Just check out my catalog. I don't stand. I don't claim to know everything. I don't. So you can hit me up in the com guys. Go to the comment section. Say TD. Da -da, this is going on. I don't like this player, man. Are you seventy percent? Show me your videos that you hit on seventy percent. Show here's the guys that you miss. Like whatever you want to do, guys. I, I'm I'm written. I'm an open book. I'm an open book. So let's begin. We got three more guys to go. This next guy had a great season before last season. And he faded off a little bit because of injuries. So I believe he's going to be okay if he can stay healthy. But the value that you that you get him, it doesn't matter if he stay healthy. These are running backs. They don't really stay healthy a lot. And it's Remondre Stevenson, guys, from the Patriots. Now, yes, Antonio Gibson did go there. I don't care. It's all about goal line opportunities when it comes to running backs these days. Nobody's getting 100% of the carries. It's only probably like three or four running backs is getting 100% of the carries. Where I wouldn't even say 100%, 90% of the carries. 
Ramondre Stevenson, guys, is going to get 65% of the carries, which is the goal line carries. He's getting probably all the goal line. Now, Antonio Gibson going to be catching passes like Austin Eckler. I'm not, he's not on this, vi uh, this video as a bounce back guy, but I believe he's going to be solid. But Ramon J. Stevenson is a 240 pound running back who can score. And I believe they're going to give him goal line opportunities. Now, he didn't play great on the goal line last year. He, they got stopped, but they didn't have no quarterback where well, they had a quarterback, but he wasn't playing efficient enough to back up the linebackers and the safeties. But this year, I believe that they're going to draft somebody and they're going to have a good offense where uh, Ramondre is going to have some good running lanes. The offensive line is going to be a lot better, if you ask me. So, guys, I love Ramondre Stevenson. Make sure you pick him up with with a, as a great value. You get you can get him in a fourth or fifth round. That's killer value. Super flex or uh, redraft dynasty, whatever, guys. He's a great value. Remember, running backs, you're not drafting them to be with you for 10 years. You're drafting them for the winner championship. So don't draft none of these guys per se to be, oh, I got this guy. He's going to be valued like this for five years. No, he's not. They, I mean, they values go up and down. If CMC gets, gets hurt this year, his value will be like, it'll be, it'll go way down. Any running back, Breach Hall, Jameer, B. John, if they get hurt, they value drop. If a wide receiver gets hurt, Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, they still gonna have good value. Not may not be number one value, but it still be good value. So these running backs, guys, that's why I talk about value. You can get these guys and they can help you win a championship as a flex play or RB3 play. All right, let's move on. We got two more guys to go. Two more running backs. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel. This is Cutting Edge Content. Go in the comment section, guys, and let me know what you think about the players. If you got any kind of comments, if you're still watching the video, you know what we do here. We put the 100 symbol. We spam the comment section with the 100 symbol right here. That's what we do here. We keep it real. We keep it honest. We're not perfect. We're not, we don't think we're better than anybody. We don't know everything, but we 100. Okay. The, the next guy's Josh Jacobs. This guy's Josh Jacobs. He's now playing for the Green Bay Packers. Now, listen, this is still a passing team if you ask me, but Josh Jacobs is going to get all goal line opportunities. Now, he will, well, now I wouldn't say all, but he's going to get 80%. The other is going to be A.J. Dillon. A.J. Dillon still going to get some nice work. A.J. Dillon still going to touch the ball 10 to 12 times a game. But at the value that you, that you can get, Josh Jacobs, I think is tremendous. Now, listen, I wouldn't draft Josh Jacobs as my number one running back and get him in the first round or even in the second round. I believe that Josh Jacobs is a hero RB type guy, a third round, fourth round type pick guy. Don't pick him up. But, oh, I got a top five running back. I think he could hurt your feelings. But if you're willing to take him and... He, to let him be like a David Montgomery, I think he can have a David Montgomery season. I don't think he can have a Kyron Williams se season. I, as This is me making my assessment in the summer. So I love Josh Jacobs, guys, as the right value. Don't overdraft him, even though he's going to have a bounce back season. Don't overdraft him. I said what I said. Don't overdraft him. All right. So let's move on, guys, to my number five guy. And it was a couple guys that I wanted to put on this list. Uh, honorable mention guy, real quick, I was talking about Alvin Kamara, but he had a good season. He still was a top five running back about four or five weeks. So, and he's still going to catch passes. So, I don't want to, I didn't put him on this list. But the guy that I want to talk about is Jonathan Taylor from the uh, Indianapolis Colts. Tim, the two, two, two man Taylor. That's what I call him. Y'all remember that home improvement from my 86 babies, 80 babies, home improvement, great show. Now, listen, Jonathan Taylor, guys, and Anthony Richardson are going to be a great tandem. Somebody's going to get that goal line touch. Most likely, it's going to be Jonathan Taylor because same thing I said about Saquon, they don't want Anthony Richardson getting hurt. So, say, so Jonathan Taylor got that deal. They're going to run him into the ground. This year, guys, he's going to get 300 touches, and he's going to catch passes. So be ready to – I love Jonathan Taylor this year. Last year, I wasn't on him. I traded him for two running backs, Antonio Gibson and uh, A.J. Dillon and Dynasty. A lot of people might say that's crazy. I didn't want them problems. I want to let somebody else have them. And you see how he was volatile last year. He's still a great talent. I just don't want to rely on him, right? I don't want to rely on him to, to be some type of phenom. I'd rather have a bunch of backs. That way I can pick and choose the guy who I'm going to play in my fantasy football championship or in the playoffs. That's just how I play fantasy. But getting back on topic, Jonathan Taylor, guys, is going to have 10 rushing touchdowns if he, if he stays healthy. Anthony Richardson is going to get some touches, but he's not going to get as much as he as they used him early in the season. They want, they want that shoulder to stay healthy. He's coming off a shoulder surgery. 
So Jonathan Taylor guy's going to get ran into the ground. He's going to practice all year long. He's going to be happy. So I like Jonathan Taylor. So listen, guys, I'm not going to hold you up on this video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is cutting edge content. Also, guys, I got the draft guide coming for $24.99. But if you are a Phenom Crew member, Gotta be, you gotta stay on the Phenom Crew member because if you unsubscribe from the Phenom Crew member, this is gonna be like a Google shared document. So you won't, I, you won't be able to get that document if you're not on the Phenom Crew. So any, every time I check it, whoever's not on there, I'm gonna take that Google document share it from you. If you want, if you want that as a Phenom Crew member, now if you just want to buy it, you can have it. You buy it full price, twenty four ninety nine. You got it. You got it. You can do whatever you want to do with it. Right. You can do whatever you want to do with that. So this is going to be killer, guys. I'm going to be I'm not going to talk about a lot of players. A lot of people not on. I'm going to get down to the focus. Your top three guys that you're taking in the rounds. Um, I'm going to give you some rankings. I'm going to give you some zero RB targets. I'm going to give you some dual threat quarterbacks that you should be taking. I'm going to give you some sleeper court. I'm guys. Just, I'm just going to compartmentalize it and make it simple. I'm not doing no bunch of talking about guys and making it a fancy, right? I'm not saying I hate on those draft guys because there's some really great draft guys out there. I've learned from them, but I'm just going to keep it simple. I think this is going to be the best thing that I ever offered y'all guys. It's going to be gas. So make sure you uh, pick those up, guys. Make sure you share the content. Y'all be safe. Peace.